This Quebec native has made his mark on the international skateboarding scene with his vert skating skills and his multiple gold medals at the X Games. Hi, I'm Mihaela Coman and welcome to WatchMojo.com. Today we'll be speaking with Pierre-Luc Gagnon. So tell me, how did you get into skateboarding? I don't know really, I was, it was just something that really like, uh, you know, built me and got my first board when I was nine and just started going to the skate, skate park every day after school just fell in love with it. And do you do other sports other than skateboarding? You know, I snowboard in the winter once in a while. Like, I've, I've been pretty, pretty lazy with it since I've lived in California. Like, I only go maybe once or twice a year. But growing up in Montreal, uh, you know, I used to go every weekend. And then, um, yeah, I like boxing and, and doing Muay Thai too. You know, it's kind of fun. Like, I like, I like doing that. But uh, skating is the main thing. And you just mentioned California. How does the skating scene differ from your hometown to where you live now? It's different, you know. Like yeah, there, there's like a awesome like underground scene like out here, you know, in Montreal. Uh, it seems like in California there's like a little bit more like mainstream media and all that. But now like the, the Canadian media is really starting to like kind of like wake up to it and and pay attention to, to skateboarding a lot more, you know. But as far as like just the skaters, like we're we're all skateboarders and we all love doing the same thing, so it's kind of like the same when it, when it comes down to just skating. And you're known for vert skating, so can you yeah. tell us a bit about this type of skateboarding and how you got into it? That's like the 14 foot tall half pipe. There was a vert ramp by my house when I grew up in Boucherville, and then there was also one at a skate park we had from 92 till 98. And uh, I just really like the speed and the, all the air time that you get on a vert ramp. You know, I've always looked up to guys like Danny Way and Colin McKay, so that's definitely why, you know, I, I really stuck with vert skating, I think. In this sport, I mean, I assume there's a lot of injuries. How do you cope with them? I mean, obviously there is injuries, but it, it's not like worse than any other sports or anything like that. I've skated 22 years and I probably had like maybe four or five broken bones, so it's, it's a pretty good average for how long I've skated. So tell me, what are some of the challenges that you face in doing this sport? Luckily right now I'm making a great living out of skateboarding, but for some, some guys, you know, it's really hard to be like up and coming pro where you're not really making that much money and then and you want to focus all your time on skating. It's definitely not easy to, to get to a certain level, but once you're there, then it's, it's awesome. But you were on the VH1 show, The X Life? So what's your opinion on reality TV and how was your experience? Um, you know, it's it's definitely uh, not an easy thing to do. You know, producers trying to get you to do a lot of things that sometimes you don't really want to do. And, and they love drama, so I was kind of really getting annoyed with that. Don't my whole stick up for him, he's a douchebag. I'm what? I'm a dude? Douchebag. You know what, you're a You know, I don't feel like my life is that dramatic. Uh, or definitely not as much as what they made it seem like on the show. So, um, yeah, that, but you know, I guess it's it's part of TV. I just have to deal with it. So how long do you want to be skateboarding for? Skating is like a way of life. It's so, you know, something you, you do every day. And I think like no matter what age I'm going to be, I'm still going to skate, you know, probably not com competitively, but uh, I'll be skating to some level. Well, thank you so much. Thank you very much for this thank interview. You. Thank you.